In your live show, Heating Up has become a real favorite for people too. Yeah, they been, love the energy of that yeah, one. We've been playing Heating Up for a while. There's actually a cool story behind Heating Up because this is one of my favorite songs. I was just thinking about it, but um, I wrote Heating Up right after a show in Louisville. We were went to the green room after, and I uh, walked in the green room. The green room and the stage are really far apart, and um, so I was in the green room by myself for like a rare moment, right? And um, That's heaven on earth yeah, for you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and so um, I was in there by myself, and I was just like calming down from the show. I was praying a little bit after the show, and then like right after that, I just started singing all the melodies of Heating Up. So I sang like, I got it in my, my phone, but I sang like every melody and like all the words in that first verse and then that chorus. Um and then I took it into like a voice memo. You just sat there and basically sang heating up into yeah. your phone. Yeah. Like right after the show. That's and so then cool. Took it in with Daniel and, and Chase McGill and, um, and they brought it to life. That's right up Chase McGill's alley. And he's kind of written half the record. So that was how that song came to be. And then that's been, you know, a blast. It feels like, I feel like Creek will rise like little brother. And so, uh, the fans have loved that one so far. That's a good way to put it. I think one of the things that's interesting, of course, you and I just, I mean, we could watch songwriters tell their stories of how they write songs for hours and we have, but, um, I think it's really interesting a couple of times now in this interview, you've mentioned like a concept that you have, but you want to get it to the right people. Mm -hmm. Is that something because you're, sure. you're a really strong ideas guy, but you work with so many different talented people, but their strengths are in different areas. Like you said, you specifically handpicked Blake Pendergrass to write, meanwhile in Carolina. And then you said when you had this idea, you know, you went to Chase and Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's half of my job and strategy is having an idea and then knowing how I want to execute it and then who gets to execute it. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it's like a, any, any basketball player or team, everybody has different strengths. Sometimes yeah. you need a three-point shooter. Sometimes you need a point guard. Sometimes you need a def defensive guy. And so I kind of have this group of writers that I know what their strengths are and how that complements me. And so when I think of an idea, you know, like Chase McGill, if there's a lot of words, if there's a lot of analogies, if there's – Chase is, like, probably my favorite writer in Nashville. But, like, Heating Up – he wrote Creek Will Rise as well, but, like, Heating Up – Chase wrote that entire bridge on Creek Will Rise. Um, he and, was the radio won't let me tell you the sure. rest guy, right? And so um, I knew that that was going to be like a real fun, upbeat, fast pace. So I brought him with Chase. Um, regret in the morning. I know Daniel really taps into kind of my sens my sensitive side. Um, <laughs> Blake wrote God Moments and uh, Carolina. And so he kind of taps into that storytelling aspect of me. 